I put my transducer right in the middle of the neck and for beginners it is good to start just on the occiput, on the occipital bone because one will clearly see the external occipital protuberance in the uh, ultrasound image and then gradually move downwards until we see the bone shadow of the atlas and there's no spinous process at the atlas which is very characteristic characteristic and if you move the probe further down you will see that the spinous process of the axis has two prominent tubercles a left and a right and from here we move the probe laterally very slowly to image our key muscle explained in the anatomy part which is the inferior oblique muscle or obliquus capitis inferior muscle this muscle is very very thick and this is more or less what protects us um, to do any harm to deeper structures and if we follow this muscle laterally I do it until I reach the transverse process of atlas you see the whole extension of that muscle and now I move lateral and lateral and lateral and see the transverse process of atlas I move backwards just show the anatomy again the obliquus capitis inferior muscle obliquus capitis inferior muscle and backwards to the spinous process of axis what we have to keep in mind is if we see the left in the, the right tubercle of the spinous process we also see a white line relatively steep this is the lamina of the axis and we have to keep that in mind just to be sure we are uh, hitting bony landmarks and after we have found the obliquus capitis inferior muscle we just look on top of that muscle and on top of that muscle we will see the a greater occipital nerve and this greater occipital nerve is hypoechoic in most cases and it is really really huge structure